And now we want to tell you about the international attention one Oklahoma small town is getting. It is an unwanted spotlight, too, shining on the town of Tuttle because of a fight on the World Wide Web. News Channel 4's Allie Meyer is on the night beat with that story. She's joining us live from the K4.com desk with the details on this. What's happening here, Allie? Well, Kevin, we found out about the story after we got an email from London. The mayor in the town of Tuttle has fielded more than 300 messages about this issue from all across the planet. Tuttle, Oklahoma, home of the Tigers, Heisman Trophy winner Jason White, and now a title they are not so proud of, international laughing stock. When there's 300 of them in, in a two-day period. Tuttle Mayor Lonnie Paxton tells us it all started last week, a minor problem with the city's website. Jerry's the one to put this together. It's supposed to look like this, but when the city manager logged on, this is what he saw, a test page indicating a problem. In today's world where you have identity thefts and you have viruses on computers, it is this council's intent that our city manager protect our website and be aggressive about that. Aggressive is right. The city manager, Jerry Taylor, fired off this email to one of the companies listed on that test page, CentOS. I quote, who gave you permission to invade my website? He writes, please remove your software immediately before I report it to government officials. A developer for CentOS writes back, CentOS is not a website, it's the operating system, though I'd be glad to help you. But the city manager fires back with more threats. Get rid of this software. Second notice. He writes, I'll file a complaint with the FBI. 17 emails later and the city manager finally realizes CentOS had nothing to do with the problem. But the battle was just beginning. CentOS posted the entire correspondence online. Now Tuttle is getting heat from around the world. Unflattering comments like this one from Germany, wondering how the city manager can even tie his shoes. And another. Does the name Village Idiot ring a bell? Back in Tuttle, some are embarrassed by the blunder. I think we need to learn how to use computers. <laughs> Most are hoping Tuttle will fall off the international stage as quickly as it came on. I don't know how, but I don't know why people from Switzerland are worried about it. I mean, we're this big. You're smart as the next town, aren't you? I, I believe so. Maybe even a little smarter. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a bit. Now, the mayor spoke on camera to us today because the city manager, Jerry Taylor, was unavailable. We're told he was out of the office. I also talked with the developer at CentOS. He tells me the problem was with the, company's, the company hosting the city of Tuttle's website. CentOS says they can see how the city manager might have made the initial mistake. They said they've had similar misunderstandings a few other times, but never have they ever had someone be so hostile.